So Kelly asked me to just do some of these CDs, uh, help get us organized, doing some things in the ICU um, with ventilator management. Uh, this can be this protocol has been in development for a long, 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 long time. Uh, and ours is a reasonable place to start uh, because there's a lot of data now that says that the ours ventilator management strategies uh, should also be applied to people with non ARDS. Somebody comes with normal lungs, but actually should try to implement ours and that type strategies um, for lung protection. Uh, so we're not causing damage to other lives. So it's a reasonable place to start. And it's got a lot of talking points, uh, most of which <laughs> you all are going to be familiar with, some of which you may or may not. Those of you that are not in ICU all the time, uh, there's going to be a good refresher. Are in the ICU all the time. I would love input, questions, comments. What do we do, et cetera, et cetera. So let's say let's start with basic. What is ours? Stiff lungs. Stiff lungs. So to a respiratory therapist, ours is stiff lungs. <laughs> stiff lungs. Agreed. Right. So let's part of what so digress briefly just because we're coming on the heels of COVID, right? So about COVID being bad ARDS, right? Then we had people pulling lung volumes into 900 cc, right? Horrible gas exchange with dense infiltrates. You're like, wait a second. This isn't ours because they're not stiff, but we need to manage them like ours. Huh? So we were all kind of scratching our heads, right? So stiff lungs, <laughs> So that's not part of the official medical definition that we use on our side of round. Um, but yes, that's a big part of where the ARSNET strategies came from is, is uh, trying to not make stiff lungs stiffer uh, or blow them apart because they are stiff. What is stiff? What's a number? What's not stiff? What do we use to measure that? Lung volumes, okay, good, that's part of it. Compliance. Compliance, good lung compliance. Right, do we need dynamic compliance or static compliance when we're talking about ours? Dynamic, what else? Static, we're gonna use plateau pressure, right? So the dynamic compliance is gonna be using the peak pressure, right, peak pressure, you can use the, you can use dynamic compliance and peak pressure if you know it's ARDS and you know there's not an airways problem where they're gonna have a higher peak pressure and a, or you're gonna have, the difference between the peak pressure and the plateau pressure is gonna be greater than normal, right? Or is gonna be the same as, you can use dynamic compliance if you know that the difference between the peak pressure and the plateau pressure is gonna be normal or low. You can't use peak, uh, peak pressure to dynamic compliance if you know there's gonna be a difference because that would tell you that there's also some sort of an airway problem going on, right? So ArsNet is gonna use um, static compliance and their, their surrogate for that is gonna be plateau pressure just because it's easier to measure, okay? The plateau pressure, we'll get to these in a second. Um, okay, so back to what's stiff. So we talk about compliance, right? What's a compliance number? What's a what's a static compliance number? What's that? Yeah, I'll give you that. I give you thirty-five. So in in actually at UAB they measured this while I was there in normal lungs, mm -hmm. and people with normal lungs on the vent uh, that it was a compliance greater than twenty-nine, which is sort of a random number, so 30, 35, mm -hmm. something like that we could say is a relatively normal compliance. We all manage ventilators and people with ARDS. Mm -hmm. When we push the button, 